Colby Ray, thank you for coming in with us, and today we are going to be asking you a few questions. Ms. Tornay, thank you for coming in today. Pleasure's all mine. You answer them as truthfully you can. Alrighty. That's perfectly fine. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? A hundred duck-sized horses. Why is that? Well... Ducks move pretty fast, and if you have a duck the size of a horse, it's over. Yeah, more for you. What fictional character do you identify with the most, and why? Batman. Why so I don't, because Batman? Batman actually wears armor and doesn't wear bright colored tights and gets shot at a lot. Nice. What advice would you give to your previous boss if you could? Die. Stop living. I hate you. All right. Why on earth are you here today? That's a good question. Do I really need to answer that question? No, you don't, sir. That's what I thought. You should ask God your, yourself when you get up to the heaven. I will. If I gave you 50 grand to start your own business, what business would you start? Math. I am the one who knocks. When you go... On holiday, when do you pack your case? Pack my case? I never pack a case. I just hit my face into the pillow and fall asleep. Okay. Interesting. What's your favorite sports team in the Probably the LA Lakers. Why? Their swinger is immaculate. If aliens landed, exchange for anything you desire, offer you any position on their planet, what would you want? Probably just violent noises. Anything that I can produce from my vocal cords, if I was a species that had vocal cords. Be a, be a high counselor and rule over them so I can take over Earth. This, this place needs better, better everything. What would your slogan be if you were a brand? That's the wrong hole. Interesting slogan there. If Hollywood made a movie about your life, whom would you like to see play the lead role as you? Oh, for me? Yes. Either Hartley Sawyer, get him out of being canceled, or um, I'd say probably Grant Gustin. Tell me about your most unusual talent or party trick. I love doing this thing at parties where um, I I vanish for several hours and come back in a completely different outfit. Now, I know in these great times of stress, Colby, because of school and everything, I have to ask, do you do karaoke? No. Karaoke is for those careless single men who try to go out and get a girl, but they can't because they are singing karaoke at a middle as a middle-aged man who just got divorced not even two weeks ago. He doesn't get a chance to speak. Why? My hand's already around his neck. What was the last gift you gave someone? Um, I don't know if it counts as a gift, but uh. I did put a makeshift pipe bomb in my buddy's glove box. Now, may I ask you why? He deserved it. Where was this at? At his house, you said? I can't disclose that information. Understood. Okay. What has been the most bizarre life experience? I have multiple. Please. Choose out of all one. That you think is more bizarre than the other. Uh, baby. Mm -hmm. He shot a 19 year old in a Walmart. I think that's hard as f Probably for them, not for me. Well, thank you for coming in for these oddly interesting questions. Thank you for having me. Now, tell me, I know from your expertise, are you a cat or a dog person? I'm very much a dog person. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, very large ones. I'm a big believer of if your dog does not exceed the height of uh, a lab, it is not a dog, it's a rat. Thank you for coming.
Pleasure's all mine.